and I'm honored to offer, for the first time, two Lifetime Achievement Awards. And I would ask Secretary Henry Kissinger and Maurice Greenberg to please join me here on the podium. If you were asked tomorrow morning to give our new president advice on U.S.-China relations, what are the most important things that you would suggest to him? I'd say when two countries of the magnitude of the United States and China interact, there will always be points at which they disagree because of their very magnitude. But the fundamental thing to keep in mind is that the peace and progress of the world depend on the ability of the United States and China to respect each other's core interests and to modify their core interests in order to make cooperation possible. If that does not happen, the tensions will multiply. The world will have to will be divided between pro-Chinese and pro-American factions. And sooner or later, one of those tensions will get out of control. So the situation in which <clears throat> we find ourselves now is of historic magnitude. And it, it's of crucial importance that they start the right way and on the basis of respect for each other's fundamental concern. That the president should have one single direct official to coordinate across all of government the handling of all aspects of U.S.-China relations, foreign policy, defense, economic issues. You've led the State Department. What are your views? I have argued that the president should appoint a special advisor for relations with China. Because under present conditions, many of the individual agencies have a tendency to try to deal with their immediate problems on a bilateral basis. And what is needed is some guiding concept. Secondly, there ought to be a point of contact in the United States which the Chinese president can use for direct exchanges with the president of the United States. Uh, in China, the hierarchy is more clearly developed and I would not tell the Chinese how to organize their government but an American president has never had trouble getting directly to the Chinese leader. So it would be important in our government to create one central fo focal point for coordinating all the activities and above all, to conduct a dialogue with the Chinese leadership through that office. 